Hello, this is Dave with Santan Solar. Today we're going to talk about the Smart Solar Charge Controller Setup. I'll be using an MPPT 15100 Smart Solar Charge Controller. This one has an optional screen that I've put on or display. Typically these do not come with any displays. They have large ports for large wiring due to their size. Very easy to mount and easy to secure. Installing a large gauge wire is very typical for these charge controllers. This is like a two gauge wire. It's probably the maximum size wire this will fit. Do a little tug test always on your wiring. Here I'm using a uh, square circuit breaker. It's 150 amp. This is what's going, going to go to the battery by way of bus bar. This will only go on the positive. And here I'm hooking it to the positive bus bar. And here I'm going to be connecting the solar panel wire. I'm using ferrules, as you notice, on the ends. This helps keep the uh, ends of the wires from fraying. Makes a much more secure connect connection. Turning on the score breaker, and you can see from the battery that the smart solar charge controller comes on. Then I turn on the panels. As you can see, the indicator showing that the panels are now active and sending power. At this point, you can open up your Victron Connect uh, app on your phone. If you need to log in, it's only six zeros to log in. Just turn on your Bluetooth, select the Smart Solar Charge Controller. It's a great app. You can use this to help check your wattage of your panels coming in, your status, the history, which you've been having, if there's any errors, it'll record all that. Your trends, you can do this in real time if you wish. You can change those parameters from wattage, voltage to amps, current. It's a great app and it's very intuitive. And it's very easy to work with and you can do updates and whatnot with it. Stay tuned. We'll be going over some more devices like shunts and whatnot. Thanks for watching.